blow torches. So in a normal jeweler's studio, you would have a jeweler's blow torch, which tends to be the great big cans of gas, which have to be stored on the floor, and a long hose and the nozzle. All you need is the gas and the nozzle. So if you can have something more compact in your home studio, then that tends to work out a lot better and a lot cheaper for most people. Now, torches start at this sort of size, little creme brulee torch, and you can get different makes and models. But the important thing is, whichever one you choose, you need to make sure in the stats it says it's going to burn hotter than 815 degrees Celsius. Because that is hot enough for hard silver solder to melt and hard silver solder has the highest melting temperature. The only time these can be a little bit troublesome and not big enough is if you're trying to solder something that is part of a big chunky piece of metal. So those little torches run off the cans of butane, the little yellow cans that you can buy to refill lighters at the tobacconist at the supermarket. Um, this one is the same sort of concept but the flame is bigger, it burns at a slightly hotter temperature but the difference is it's a disposable can so instead of having to refill the, the um, torches yourself you just buy a new can the downside with this one is the can needs to be specific to this nozzle so it needs to be that brand because it has a different connector compared to most other similar cans on the market but they were really cheap and the nice thing about it similar to the small torches it has the on off and the striker button so you're not having to manually light it. The downside with both those types of torches is butane doesn't work when it's cold. So if your studio is cold, the gas isn't going to light. The torches that I like to use are the Go System Butane Propane Mix cans with the Fintech flame nozzle. I use this for 99% of the soldering and annealing that we do. I like this nozzle, it's a good size flame. I find it very useful between having control but still being able to get bigger pieces up to temperature. And the fact that it has propane mixed in it means that it can work at lower temperatures. So if it's very, very cold, it will still sometimes struggle a little bit. And on those occasions, I keep the cans in the house. But 99% of the time, it's completely fine, even if it's a bit chilly out. And the nice thing about it as well is if you needed a bigger nozzle or just a different nozzle, it comes with a whole range that you can buy. And when the gas runs out, you just buy a new can of gas for about five pounds and then pop it back onto your nozzle of choice. The one downside of the Fintech Flame nozzle is the fact that you have to light it manually. Whereas most of the other ones that they sell Actually, that one you have to light manually as well. But most of the other ones that they sell come with a little striker button. Um, but I find that this is the most reliable and is definitely my favourite by far. And a good bonus with it is it's also the cheapest nozzle, so it saves you a lot of money. And I also find that the customer service at Go System is excellent. So on the rare occasions, considering I have hundreds of students per term, that something you know stops working, so maybe somebody's been over tightening it or you know whatever the issue might be that they've replaced it and not only have they replaced it they've usually sent it next day delivery for free which I think is excellent. The only time that my normal um, Go System Butane Propane mix cans aren't hot enough is either if you're working with something very very chunky and big or if we're trying to cast larger amounts of metal and that's when we'd sometimes swap for MAP gas or just a gas that burns at a slightly higher temperature again. Map gas would be a bit aggressive for most, you know, jewellery smith <laughs> jewelry silversmithing tasks. But when you do need that extra heat for things like casting, it can be good. Um, the downside with that is it needs a different type of nozzle, um, which I don't have to hand at the moment. It will not fit the normal nozzles which fit on the rest of the Go system range. And lastly, another reminder, if you're using flames, if you're using heat and live flames, you need to consider what to do if something ever went wrong. So these torches are nice and safe to use, but obviously there's always the risk of there's something flammable being in your working area, managing to catch something, dropping the torch, um, especially for people who work at home, if you had a carpeted floor or something flammable there. So know your exit plan. 
highly recommend having a fire extinguisher and knowing where it is. They can sometimes be um, a little bit overkill, so as much as you should always have one, um, quite often something like a, fly, a fire blanket might be more useful if you did have a small fire to deal with. Or at the absolute very least, have a tea towel and some water so you can wet the tea towel and douse any flames out. Every torch and every nozzle is different so whatever setup you decide to um, buy make sure that you read the operating instructions and the safety instructions. With any sort of live flame it is always good to have a fire extinguisher and know where it is. Sometimes um, on the rare occasions we've ever had an issue it's always been a very 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 small um, not even a fire but just the torches burning slightly funny and not being able to turn them off so sometimes this would be overkill because it would make a mess which is why it's really good to have a fire blanket because you can take this out use it and it's not going to sort of spray stuff everywhere if it's only a very small fire at the absolute least you need to have a tea towel and some water so that you can wet it and place it over whatever you need to extinguish but it's just safety first. Whenever I hear about stuff happening, it's always because people have been soldering right in front of their curtains or they've dropped a torch on the carpet.